Not a single time. Not a single time, bitches. Not a single not a time. Single time. How many times have you said that before? Nope, nope, nope. I did not, did not have sex, sex with that woman. Not a single time. Not a single time. I'm gonna say this again. Not I a did single time. Not have sex with that woman. Not a single not time. Not a single time. Not a single time, bitches. Nope, nope, nope. nope. I did not. I did have not have sex, sex with that woman. woman. Not a single time. I'm gonna say this again. One more not time. Not a single time. Come on, bitches. I did not have sex not with that woman. Not a single time. Not a single time. Nope, 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 nope. I did not. I did not have sex, sex with that woman. woman. A single time. Not a single time. I'm gonna say this again. Not a single time. Not a single time. Not a single time. Not a single time, ladies and gentlemen. You've tuned in to Stranger Than Fiction News. So much news to cover. So many things to discuss. Right now, we're in the middle of the pandemic. The New World Order has contaminated every human on the planet, holding them for hostage, telling them they need their COVID papers. Come get your vaccine. Surrender. And they've got the total monopoly of the television. They'll keep you distracted with Gladio B event after Gladio B event. They'll blow things up and you'll wonder what happened. But ladies and gentlemen, you know, these things don't happen unless the new world order says it happens. And that might seem outrageous. Truly... 20 years after 9 11. You ask anybody in there whether or not the economic and foreign policy of this administration has made them better off in the last eight years. And, uh, and in addition to that, uh, in addition to that, we have to. Oh, creepy Biden. We'll get into creepy Biden. We've got so much news to cover. But 20 years after 9 11, you are not going to wake people up. Either they're awake or they're not. Either they're a boy or a girl. You're not going to change who they are, X, Y, X, X, even though there seems to be a lot of hybrids out there. Hey, who remembers this one? The fake shooting at the White House during the Obama administration. Seems like that comes with the total package. No blood, no witnesses, maybe just a little paint, ladies and gentlemen. And we're not even going to talk about the CGI on 9-11. How many things have we covered over the years? It's, a, it's a, astonishing. Officials say, according to the Boston Globe, there will be a controlled explosion opposite the library within one minute as part of bomb squad activities. This was April 15th, Marathon Monday. And exactly where they say, that's where the bomb explodes. It's amazing. And it seems like, you know, their attacks are somewhat uncoordinated. At least they used to be. Don't ask us what the video guy is doing. The video guy is on vacation. We're broadcasting live. This is Stranger Than Fiction News. Uh, The world as it was and the world today. How many people remember the pre-9-11 world? Have you seen an 80s movie lately and think to yourself, wow, they were only like 40 years away from COVID and they didn't even know. They've been planning this for years. New world order. Make no mistake about it, ladies and gentlemen. The Skynet, the Terminators. And you know... This isn't the first time we've gone through a pandemic in recent history. The Salisbury attacks just outside of Port and Down, the Novichoke attacks, were very similar in nature. Very similar scheme indeed. Release a toxin from the lab and then come on television and blame the Russians. How long before this becomes a Russian bioterror attack is the question, ladies and gentlemen. But we've seen all of this before, the white helmets, the Gladio B events. And it's always the pedophiles that are telling you that you're a racist. 
It's always the pedophiles that are telling you that you're wrong. It's always the pedophiles that are censoring you and taking your rights away. What is it with these pedophiles? What is it with this pedo gate, pizza gate that just won't go away? What is it with the Hollywood, pedo wood, the long history of child sex trafficking in important places? What is it with this 322 Illuminati, Georgia Guidestones? Are you asking the right questions out there? Ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, many of you are out there preaching trutherism as your religion. And you want to connect all of the dots for people out there. Just plant seeds, let it grow, let them do their own research. If you get too involved, it gets ugly. Just plant seeds and go. Scan and go. Find people that are like-minded and say, hey, let's do a 5G thing. Let's stop 5G in our town, in our state. Let's organize and get people together. There's a lot of people out there. You're not alone. I am locking the door, because at that point, like I said, the bullets were getting louder. So we blocked this door, and we did hear banging, and I, I pray it wasn't anyone trying to escape, because I would forever feel guilty. It's always a lip tired. Remember the Pulse nightclub shooting? Remember all of these emergency actors? I mean, the deep state has been doing this for decades now. It's like an industry. And, you know, people, you know, want to ask questions like, where did this virus come from? Where do you think it came from? Exactly. Oh, you think it came out of the jungle? Right? Like this happened in a village or something. No, no. Wuhan is a big city. It happened just a few blocks away from the bioweapons laboratory. You couldn't make this stuff up. And the TV is like, oh no, this is natural. This is totally natural. Wear your mask. Surrender your rights. You are under house arrest. You're our bitch now. It came out of the jungle. It came out of the lab. That's ridiculous. Well, which one is it? Who are the people that have been poisoning your food, your air, your water, terrorizing you every chance they can? Who are the bad guys in America? Come on. Let's ask the most serious question right now. Who are the bad guys in America? A, the Russians. B, the Antifa. Or C, the New World Order. And that includes Skull and Bones, Bohemian Grove, Davos, Bilderberg, you name it. Who is the real enemy out there? Attention, if you use Roundup Weed Killer, there is some important health information you should know. Recent studies show that Roundup and other weed killers containing glyphosate can cause non-Hodgkin lymphoma and other forms of cancer. For more information, go to roundupcase.com. If you or a loved one regularly used Roundup Weed Killer and developed non-Hodgkin lymphoma or other... That's a real commercial. And organophosphates, you know, i.e. pesticides, they're neurotoxins used for chemical weapons like VX and the like it's the same stuff they spray it on your food have you seen the you know the bags of fluoride it's got like poison on it it's like the worst kind of fluoride too and people are like where'd this virus come from seriously what's going on so the question is you know, what do you want to do about it? You just want to shelter in place, get the gas mask, get all the gear, stock up, pile up, hope you survive, right? There'll be another virus. There'll be another Fukushima. There'll be another 9-11. There'll be more death towers. Are you getting the drift? You can't just sit this one out. You knew this was coming. You are not surprised. 
and you're ready to survive. You don't want to go quietly into the night like a bitch. Repeat after me. You do not want to go quietly into the night. Warning, the video you are about to watch will challenge your notions of everything you think is real. Denial will inevitably be your initial reaction. How long before they banned this video, ladies and gentlemen? What is going on? It's like chemtrails. You can have two planes flying in the same patch of sky. Oh, that's old school. Three, two, old school. One, zero. And ignition and liftoff of the Atlas V with the Solar Dynamics Observatory. I did not have sex with that one. Look at that. Look at that. That's like a Stephen King movie. Look at that. Black beams, shock waves. It's like, what is that? What technology is that? Where did that come from? Where did all of this technology come from? It came straight from hell, bitches. Straight from hell. That's why they call it the beast system. What don't you understand? Hell fest, hell low, helicopter. Get your triple six news on channel six at six o'clock. You see the Luciferian programming everywhere. You know, it's Sodom and Gomorrah, the world upside down. You're waking up and you're like, what am I waking up to? It's a nightmare. It's the pages of the Bible playing out before your very eyes. That's the best way to describe it. The Bible warns you about all of this. The question is, why does it warn you? Ladies and gentlemen, that's the enigma. Why are you just dropped onto this planet the way it is? What's the purpose of life? Is it to challenge you, to pressure you, to force you to choose who you're going to be? Could there be no other way to be sure? Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, it's not like you're being held hostage. You get to choose which way you go. So much news to cover. We've got quite a few current events to discuss. Let's see if we can find one that works for the video guy. Video guys on vacation. Just about going to be topping records, hopefully Sir. soon. Sir, excuse me. Please. We're on live television, though. Oh, oh gotta go. See ya. <laughs> there was a shooting outside the White House, you know, and all of a sudden it's like, what pandemic? What fluoride? What eugenics program? What Agenda 21? What Georgia Guidestones? What's going on? If you're seven years old and somebody, which I was trying to say this to my friends who had children, you're seven years old and someone is stroking your penis, it feels good. Right. Even though you don't have a name for what that is, it feels good. What the fuck did she just say? See, that's the pedo wood. They're in a whole different world. You'll never understand. It's going to disappear. One day it's like a miracle. It will disappear. It will go away. And it will go away. I said it's going away. And it is going away. It will go away. This is going to go away. It's going to go. It's going to leave. It's going to be gone. It's going to be eradicated. This virus will pass. It will go. The virus is going to disappear. At some point, uh, that's going to sort of just disappear, I hope. I said it's going to disappear. I'll say it again. But does it's that going to disappear. Does that dis the virus will disappear. It will disappear. I say it's going to disappear. It goes away and it goes away quickly. It will go away like things go away. Hello, I'm from the That's U.S. True. government and with an update on our pandemic response. In the space of just a few months, our don't worry bro, it's just the flu policy has gotten a shit ton of you killed. Some say this tragedy was inevitable, but actually, studies show that if we'd simply responded like other governments who listen to scientists instead of Chuck Woolery and the My Pillow guy, we could have prevented almost all of those deaths. Unfortunately for you, the amount of responsibility we take in doing our job comes to approximately fuck all. Which is why we got more of you killed than 5911s. Trump 2020. With a president like this, who needs terrorists? As part of our distract from how many of you were getting killed policy, we'll be telling you the real threat to America is minorities demanding not to be murdered by cops. And to make you feel safe, we've deployed a secret police force to kidnap people off your streets without probable cause. Some call that taking a dump on the Constitution, but we call it law and order. That was interesting, ladies and gentlemen. 
to say the least. My, my, how the world has changed over the last 20 years or so. Don't you wish you could go back in time? And the like. Back to the 90s. That would be nice. Here's some previously unseen photographic evidence in the Epstein case on the Lolita Express. Everybody's pimping out and they want to know what Bill Clinton is doing. And he's infamous with that cigar. How many people read the Star Report? Classrooms are empty, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. We'll see what happens, but they need the schools to boost their dark winter program. And undoubtedly, the schools will usher in a new wave, and they can release a new strain any day. What about this guy? Man, you better hope the Democrats don't win. Your life is going to become a living hell. You thought it was bad now. You know, there's something about them. It's like they're devolving into zombies. You can see it happening slowly. Look at that mouth. You know, look at that face. It's not man nor woman. It's like monster. You know what I mean? Monster. And they're in the news because they had two cases, so they're, they're locking down the entire country. They want to be perfect. They want to be Mr. Perfect. And we're learning that. You know, it's basically they're dumping all the flu, the flu numbers into the COVID. And COVID is going to be the new H1N1 swine flu that shows up every flu season and kills twice as many people as before. That's what it's looking like right now. And don't ask us what this is. But it looks serious, doesn't it? The whole situation looks serious. They're shutting down our country. It's looking serious. You got to wear your mask and choke and wear the muzzle and be censored. It's looking serious out there. Pick a day. You know, Lebanon showed us that we could do this in a day. In 24 hours, it could all be over. We just got to go to D.C. and end it. Ladies and gentlemen. 1776. What is up with this guy? Meet, you know, Dr. Mengele. Meet, you know, Dr. Death here. Financing this virus. Really, you know, an important figure in this pandemic. And there should be Nuremberg trials instead of, you know, fake Grammy awards on the television. We need war crime tribunals for all of these war crimes that we've seen since 9-11. There should be a new investigation into 9-11. There should be a new investigation into the Iraq war. Millions of people were killed. You know, that's a lot of, you know, bad karma, if you will, for a country. You know, when the Nazis did it, it didn't end so well. There's war criminals out there that we celebrate on television. And the television is protecting the war criminals. And they're poisoning everything. And they're infecting you and irradiating you and molesting your kids. What do you want to do? You need a Christian homeland. See, they're trying to turn it into a Luciferian hellhole. You need a Christian homeland. Fight for that. That's our legacy, ladies and gentlemen. That's what America is. There's a church in every town. It's right there in the Declaration of Independence. That's who we are. We're a Christian homeland. This is an invasion by the devil. This is an invasion by the dark side. You have to fight this war for what it is. If you think this is about politics, think again. They own the politics. They own the television. They own the corporations. They own the justice system. They've totally locked you out and turned you into a hostage, into a slave. And that's what you're waking up to. But it's a Luciferian cult. And they're apostates. They are the opposite of Christianity. They need to murder. They need to lie. They need to steal. They need to cheat. That's their religion. That's their religion. That's what they go to Sunday service for, if you will. That's what we're up against. An organized cult of death that's Luciferian in nature. 
and you can tell them by their fruits. I mean, they follow the script right down to the letter. If you understand that this is the methodology that you're up against, you, you've woken up. Now you got to figure out what are you going to do? It's David versus Goliath out there. It's supposed to be difficult, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes you have to wonder if it isn't the Truman Show. Tuning in, seeing what's going on on planet Earth. What are we going to do now? God created a perfect world. Humanity created its own misery. You know, people wonder, you know, why do these things happen? People did that. People do all sorts of horrible things, but free will is part of the charter of the test. You get an opportunity to choose. Wide is the gate. Broad is the way that leadeth to destruction ladies and gentlemen there's only one way to paradise there's only one way out of this maze and it's not their way the way is in the Bible and that's the most powerful message you can send out there continue on with your upbringing pay it forward protect it don't let these evildoers defile it don't let them denigrate it don't let them change it protect it that's what you swear an oath to do that's where your allegiance is remember who sent you out there ladies and gentlemen you have a cause it doesn't matter if the if the demons next door don't agree with you or don't like it or they're not on your side that's not your job your job isn't to worry about the dark side your job is is to pass the test, ladies and gentlemen. And your job description is in the Bible. If you're listening to this, you are the resistance.